Hello everyone, and welcome back to another UE4 video. Today, let's chat about function and macro libraries. Starting with function libraries, these are merely a collection of functions that are not owned by any specific actor or object, but globally accessible by everyone at runtime. To understand the difference further, let's take a look at an example. Here we have a function within the BP My Actor blueprint. Its purpose is to deal damage to the actor's health variable. Because this function has been created within this blueprint, it is thus owned by it. If any other actor wants to use it, they'll have to first obtain a reference to this actor, and then call this function specifically. But if you, what if you want to modulize the damage dealing process, allowing anything to damage the actor? Technically, we could just give everyone their own damage dealing function. But that's a ton of copy and pasting. Instead, let's use a function library. To create a function library, all you need to do is right click on the content browser, go to the blueprints tab, and click on blueprint function library. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already created one called BPFL my library. Here we have a similar function to the one owned by the my actor blueprint, but there's a few differences. This one takes in a damage amount, goes over retrieving a reference to the actor, and then reduces the health variable by the given value. To use this function, you can really go to any blueprint and look up the function. It'll appear under the name of the library that holds it. The beauty of this though, is how it generalizes the damage process by allowing any object that would ever conceivably damage that actor to use the same code. Now, anything from a bullet, a blade, a collapsing building, the sun exploding, heartbreak, and even the sad eyes of a dog can damage our actor. Macro libraries act very similar to function libraries in that they can be called by any actor at any time. If we look here, we can see the editor for macro libraries is nearly identical to the interface for function libraries, albeit modified for creating macros. To call a macro created here, you merely need to call it the same way you would a function in a function library. Using these libraries is a great way to create code once, then reuse it again across multiple sources. This means less copy and pasting, it makes our lives easier when we need to make changes. And that's it. Thank you once again for joining me. If you liked this video or found it useful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Most importantly though, leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below as I'd love to hear them. See you on the next one.